in this application we are navigating by using router link and this router link is available in html template in some scenario we cannot navigate from html template we have to navigate from component file let's see how we can do that in this application now we will use login component that is available in auth module now let's see this uh, login page view in the browser click this login link we are getting this view in real login page we will have two text boxes for username and password and there will be login button on click of that login button if the login is successful then i want to redirect the user to some other page for example home page or book details page or any other place in this situation we have to navigate only from the component for that first we have to check whether the login is successful or not if the login is successful then we can navigate only from the component file let's see how we can handle this situation in angular application here uh, let's open this login component html file here let's create a button now uh, let's skip that part uh, where we have to verify whether the login is successful or not here we will do like this on click of the particular button we will navigate the user from one place to other place here button text will be sign up and save the changes this is a simple button let's see in the browser here we have the sign up button on click of this sign up button i want to navigate the user uh, to sign up page now go to vs code editor in login component to create the navigation from this component file we have to use one more class by using a dependency injection we can resolve it uh, in this constructor so put a comma and private router and router add the necessary inputs let's see what we have in this router right click choose go to definition see here uh, this is a router class it has so many informations root component type a uh, root context location current url tree raw url tree uh, navigations current navigation location subscription navigation id and etc uh, we have to use some of these properties to handle the navigation now go back to login component file here let's create one simple method you can give any meaningful name here i just give go to sign up and return type void here to navigate we have to use router this dot router dot navigate in the navigate we have to provide the url just like we have done in the router link in the same manner we can pass the url here uh, for sign up page the path will be auth and then sign up save the changes now we will call this method from button click event okay here let's create a click event and paste the method name use parenthesis because this is a method save the changes now let's see in the browser now click this sign up button see here we have navigated to this sign up page this is a content of this sign up page and here we have the updated url now let's see how can we pass the parameters in this scenario for that go back to vs code editor in html file let's create one more button okay um, in this application we have one route that has multiple parameters okay let's expand this public module open this public routing module um, in this book details component url we have to provide book details then id uh, then this auth coded text and this author id Okay. let's see how to pass multiple parameters in the navigation here in the login component let's create one more method in this file so just copy this method and paste it below that 
change the method name uh, let's say go to book details okay here uh, we have to update the url let's see the url for this book details in public routing module first we have to write public so copy this public and paste it then copy this book details okay then we have dynamic value we can pass the dynamic value in separate item uh, so put comma here let's define the value let's say 20 then put comma then single quote now go back to public routing module so copy this odd coded text author and paste it in the single quote then again put comma let's define the author id uh, let's say 30 save the changes and copy this method name here in the click event paste the method name and button text will be book details and save the changes let's see what we have done so far in public routing module in this route um, we are having some odd coded text and some dynamic um, text this public this is fixed book details also fixed and id port is dynamic this author is odd coded text and it is fixed this author id is dynamic value in some part of your path is odd coded you can use that uh, in single quote and if it is dynamic then you have to pass it like this we can also get this value from a property now let's see in the browser click this login page we have two buttons um, click this book details see here we have navigated to uh, this URL uh, this is the ID and we have odd coded text author then this is the author ID we are displaying the same value uh, in this HTML template also okay now right click and choose inspect and in the console window reload this page see here in the console window also we are having ID and author ID we can also pass this data from the property or we can get it uh, from the parameters if you want to get it uh, from the property uh, create the property here and use those property name here if you want to get these values from the parameters then you can write id and then number comma author id number use this parameters name in the url also And save the changes in the HTML file here we have to pass two values uh, let's say 77 comma 88 and save the changes now go back to the browser click this login page now click this book details here we have the updated value this is how we can navigate simple url and this is how we can pass the parameters in the particular url in this concept uh, there is one more situation let's assume that i want to pass query string as well um, go back to vs code editor to pass the query string from login component from this navigation we have to use comma here after the square bracket um, use curly braces 
in this curly braces we have to provide query parameters let's say query query params and colon again use curly braces here let's say first parameter is uh, name and then name will be let's say saran first we will verify with one parameter uh, save the changes and go back to the browser you are click this login and click this book details see here we are having the query string in the url and in the html template also if you want to pass multiple parameters then put a comma here and second parameter let's say email and sample email save the changes go back to the browser again click this login page then click book details in the url uh, we are having two query strings in console also we are having both the values and in html we are having a name now we can handle all the situations where we have to navigate from component file okay if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos thanks for watching this